Hello everyone! In this video lesson we will start with a new group of chess lessons. We will talk about minor pieces and games. If you want to see in my lessons some special content, please place the comment below my video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. First we will start with some very simple minor pieces and games in which we have minor piece and the pawn versus minor piece. In this position which you see on the board white is a pawn up and obviously white will try to win the game. The goal for the weaker side for black is to make draw. What do you think? What will be the result in this game? Of course this endgame will be drawn. Because there is no any way for white to force black to move his king off b7 square. For example, if he plays king c5, black will just move his bishop around the board and he will never trade bishops and he will just move around and he will never move his king. That is why white cannot make any progress in this endgame. It is very important to know positions like this because if you in a very early stage of the game win a pawn for example and you are a pawn up the whole game if you oversimplify your position and enter into something like this you will not be able to win it and the game will be drawn. This position is a little bit different than the previous and a little bit more complicated because now we have knight versus bishop and the pawn. But this endgame is also drawn. If it is black on the move in this position, black would simply put his king on e6, and that is again light square, and since black has dark squared bishop, he is not forced to, he is not able to force black king out of this e6 square. But if it is white on the move, and for example, for example white plays king d5, then just knight f6 check, and after king d4, black will capture the pawn on e4. No matter that knight wards more than a pawn, playing like this, black will achieve his goal, getting clear draw. Because in this starting position, black cannot have more than a draw, and the simple way to get a draw is just to capture the pawn. If white is on the move and plays bishop g5, trying to control this f6 square so that black cannot play knight f6, then white will simply play knight f2 attack the pawn, pawn must go forward, and after knight g4, white is not able anymore to keep this pawn on the board. Once the pawn disappears, the game is of course easily drawn. This endgame is a little bit more complicated than the previous. Again we have minor piece and the pawn versus minor piece and again white is trying to win and black wants a draw in this endgame. But in this position white is going to win the game. And here in this example we will learn the concept which is used actually in the similar minor pieces and games. So black is able to keep this game as long as his knight controls b8 square. It is white on the move, of course, and it would be very wrong for white, for example, to play knight b8, trying to force knight to move off d7, because black simply plays knight c5, and whatever now white plays, black will just capture the pawn and the game is immediately drawn. That is why white will start the procedure which is so-called maneuvering. He plays knight b4. This move will not create any direct specific threat, but by maneuvering with his knight, white will try to set up specific position in which he will force black knight to move off b8 square protection. Now black has two possible moves, king c5 and king c7. King c7 is worse solution and after knight d5 check, now if king d6 or king c6, in both cases we win in a similar way. If king c6, we simply play knight f6, we distract this knight. Now the best for black is to take knight f6, 
b8 queen promotion and white easily wins this endgame. If king goes to d6, we can again play knight f6, but now better move is knight b6, because we don't need to sacrifice the knight. We can also have that knight on the board, or we will be a clear queen up. After knight b6, b8 queen, king c6, queen b6, and easy win for white. That is why, after knight b4, much better move for black is king c5. Now white will continue maneuvering with knight d3. King d6, and again maneuvering knight f4. Now possible moves are, let's say, king e7 and king c5. If king c5, knight e6 check, king d5, and knight f8 simply to distract this knight. If now knight takes the knight on f8, we simply promote to a queen, and we easily win the game. But if, after knight f8, black plays knight e5, we must be very careful now. We do, we do not need to hurry and to promote immediately. If we do that, the game will be immediately drawn thanks to the fork knight c6. That is why we simply play king a8, and after knight c6, knight d7, king d6, knight b6, king c7, knight d5 check, and after knight b4, we finally deflect this knight of b8 protection, and white easily wins the game. And finally, after knight f4, if king goes to e7, then just knight d5, king uh, e6, knight b6, knight cannot control b8 anymore, the last trick which black can try is knight e5, and again, if we are not careful enough, if we promote, then knight c6 fork, and the game is drawn, but again, white simply wins by playing king a8. And after knight c6, our goal now is to deflect the knight of c6 square and b8 square protection. We do that by playing knight c8 with knight a7 idea, and once knight goes to a7, black can just resign the game, because he's not able to stop the promotion anymore. In this example, black king is uh, forced to fight alone, because his knight is far away. White on the move wins this game, and the winning move is king e6. Now this knight must approach closer, and two possible moves are knight b4 and knight c3. If knight c3, that is too slow, because after knight c6 check, d7 we have direct promotion to d8, and white easily, of course, wins this endgame. So much better move is knight b4. Now, this knight from b4 controls a6 and c6 squares, and it's a little bit limiting for white. But white still wins the game using very nice idea. White will first play d7, and after, of course, king c7. Now, if you think that king e7 is the best move, you are wrong. This move will actually allow black to make draw. After knight d5, if you play king e6, just knight b6, and in the next move we will simply capture that pawn on d7, or if knight a6, king d8, and again we anyway capture the pawn on d7, and the game is drawn. Or, if you go to e8, then simply knight f6, knight fork, and when king moves, we capture the pawn, and again the game is drawn. So the question is then, which move actually wins for white? Well, the move which wins this game is really wonderful and rare picture, knight a6. Checking the king and deflecting the knight at the same time. Knight must take, and now knight is far away to make any threat against white's king and white's pawn, and after king e7, nothing stops promotion, and white wins this game. If you like this video chess lesson, please click on like, share or subscribe to my channel.